Okay, so this is kind of an advanced video, so I'm not going to go into all the details. But um, I will point out that this code to make the game of Spleef is not that difficult. It's actually only got th three functions and let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines of code. So eight lines of code and you can make the game of Spleef. I th think that is pretty cool. So let's go through a few of these lines. So if you've done some modding before, you know that the main function right here is the first one that will run. So when you run your mod, this function happens. And this function does exactly one thing. It's got one line of code in it. And that thing is to tell the server that whenever the player moves, whenever there's a player move event, then the remove block later function should get called remove block later. So whenever the player moves, we'll remove the block later. And the reason it's later is that we don't want to remove the block right when the player moves. We want the, there to be a little bit of a delay. Here's the remove block later function, and it's not too complicated, but it's probably the most complicated function in this program. So I'll point out that it takes a parameter, info. In fact, anytime you're registering a function to get called when an event happens, it needs to take a parameter. You don't have to call it info, you can call it anything you want, but, um, but I like to call it info. And that info, so when the function gets called, info is going to contain a lot of information about the event that happened. In this case, it'll be the player move event. So for example, the info um, has a player, and that's the player that moved. So anytime any player moves, this function gets called. And so in our code, we want to figure out what player just moved, and we save that player to a, a local variable called p, so we can use the player later, in fact, right here. Because now we use p to figure out the location of the player. So these two lines, really, they just get the location of the player that just moved. We get p out of info, and we get location out of p. Then we schedule another function to happen later. This function right here, this function doesn't actually have a name. It's called an anonymous function. But what this function does is it calls another function, remove block. And that's this function down here. And it calls remove block, which also has a parameter called lock for location. Um, it calls remove block with the location that we just got from the player. So if I were to translate this code into English, it would be something like, when we remove the block later, we get the player's location, and then in one second, we remove the block at that location. And actually, if we look at remove block, it's not actually at that location. It's going to be one block down. So let's look at how that works. So the first thing we do when we remove the block later is we make a new drone. And we move the drone to the location to lock. And then we move it one block down. And we set that block to air. So the whole thing is actually very simple. It just says whenever... A player moves, we remove the block later, which means we look at the player who just moved, figure out their location, and in 1000 milliseconds, we call remove block at with that location. And when we have that location inside of remove block, we make a drone, we move it to that location, and then we put air in the block right underneath. That's all. That's the entire game of Spleef. Now there's, of course, a lot you could add. You could add points, you could add like a countdown to see how long people survive, you could add power-ups, just all sorts of things you could add. But this is the core of it. This is the essence of the game of Spleef. And it's only eight lines of code. 